Greetings, my name is Andrea. I am the puppet master and owner of Ice and Smith, but also the creator of The Black Watchman in 1904. Wanted to take five minutes to just uh, talk about what's going to happen in May. Uh, update about 1904. Uh, there was two uh, review actually, uh, Light Guard and Mighty Beast, that uh, uh, made me <laughs> very uh, excited. Uh, I got a list of negative reviews just before you two guys uh, that was about <clears throat> account management. And uh, it's okay. I mean, this question was completely legit. But as any game developers, you try to make a game that make people, you know, happy. Uh, so it's always affect us when when we see that. So you you guys made my day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, and then decided to make this video to say, you know, I oh, mean, let's let's show people what's what's gonna happen. Anyway, it's gonna happen in May. So at that point, it's okay to. Uh, start showing it. It's not perfect, uh, but hopefully you will be as excited as I am of this uh, new installment. Um, last year, we pivoted the company and we completely transferred into Unreal Engine, which was a huge undertaking <clears throat> for us in terms of uh, uh, the way we develop, the vision, the technology, and also we made our stack, our core stack, evolve a lot. Uh, other gaming companies started to develop our, on our stack. Uh, the stack that powers 194, that powers Black Watchmen, is now powering other game in the industry. Um, and we uh, wanted to see how far we can push it. So recently, we managed to uh, actually install and run a Unreal Engine, an Unreal Server shard within our stack. And this is what I'm going to show you. So let's actually just jump straight ahead on Twitch. And uh, what you're seeing here, I'm going to refresh. What you're seeing here is a live stream that's from one of our server, uh, Unreal server, that's rendering the scene right now. Uh, and it's it's a persistent uh, universe, meaning that it's completely attached to Stinger OS, it's completely attached to uh, uh, Black Watchman and the entire ecosystem. So if you're in Stinger OS, you could do stuff that actually echo or impact that scene, for example. Uh, on the other way, <clears throat> If you're in Twitch, uh, we've built an extension. So we started to mess around a little bit with the extension system. And we've built a light Sting OS version, but this version contact and talk with your Sting, Sting OS. So what's really exciting here, I'm currently logged in with my user agent session of 19.4. Uh, but if I'm talking here, I'm talking to a, a light version of Pay. But everything you could normally do in uh, Sting OS, you can do it here. Well, I mean, we limited everything, but uh, and technically you could do everything. Uh, and and if I do something there, I could actually you know impact my string OS or you know call resources from my string OS to be applied to the scene right now or targeting what's happening in that scene specifically in that Unreal scene. Um, on, on the same way, we could collectively do something. So you could play on Twitch. I could be in string OS, and our collective work could trigger something in the scene or unlock something uh, in the scene itself. So if I'm giving an example, you know, let's go to a warm planet, please. And uh, it's dialogue flows, the same platform as, as you know, we use normally. Uh, so basically what's happening here is that, you know, dialogue flow is processing the request and it's triggering that for the entire stream. And, and the state has changed on their own real server, but also on PlayFab, meaning that you're in string OS, well, that scene is now, you know, changed the way it, it interacts, etc. Uh, if I go on here and say, you know, uh, let's uh, do a puzzle, you know, I'm going to go here and it's going to actually, you know, uh, open up a, a new scene. And I, what I did on the left is I changed the lighting. So because the lighting is not connected yet with the chat, it's connected with my UI. So let's change the lighting. Uh, so I'm in puzzle mode, and now it could be like a bunch of people hacking, etc. Uh, we still have everything that is in the stack. So the same thing we use for, uh, you know, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline to uh, ARG uh, with the with the uh, the people on site and etc. Uh, same stuff we use for the. Um, uh, for the waking titan, so the satellite, that like you know, when, when the satellite move over your house, then that was the only time you can hack. And when you lose the connection, it's some someone else from another country that has to take it over. Uh, so all that data we have, it's it's still there. I mean, those technology are here are still present. Uh, so so the scene itself can be you know affected by many you know uh, external variable or the result of the collective hacking that we do. Uh, so here I'm going <laughs> to do something really basic. Uh, so we have a new employees, hi, Mel. So you're being featured. <laughs> uh, so hi, Mel, rock, that's what his challenge has to put a rock on the scene and has to be 
uh, disintegrated. So his, his rock will disappear. There we go. Uh, but the point here is obviously, you know, our history of puzzle and stuff, you know us. Uh, basically, there's an entire like, mechanics to get there and to trigger that kind of action or reaction from the platform. Uh, and then again, it's in real time. So um, it's a little bit the spirit now for the uh, May update, and it's really end of May, uh, and I'm going to probably, yeah, uh, be sure we push to, to, the, to the max, but I'm going to transfer to this little scene here. <clears throat> uh, now, uh, please don't mind too much the little robot that was uh, added here, uh, but I mean, it's a Sec9, uh, obviously, update. Uh, this one is entirely in Unreal. There's going to be a pretty cool... Uh, hacking flow and hacking mechanics that you're going to be able to play with uh, and you're going to enter that through Stinger OS or through Twitch in a combination of the both. Uh, so everything that you know we already have, the mechanics we have in terms of you know uh, uh, moving and, and immersion between uh, both universes, this, this will be there and you can expect uh, some surprise in terms of uh, uh, other type of integration that Unreal enabled. Anyway, Wanted to show you that uh, we've come a long way. Uh, I know I really hope everyone is safe. COVID-19 has been brutal, uh, and uh, hopefully everyone is is okay. Uh, and um, yeah, we're gonna come back with something cool. Anyway, thank you so much for your time. I'm gonna go back to uh, my kids, and uh, I will be on Discord Sunday probably. Uh, feel free to jump by and and talk to me. Uh, and yeah, thanks. Thanks for being part of 194 community and welcome to the new players. We've got 3,000, almost 3,000 new players since uh, Monday. So this is insane. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Bye.